Since time began, the tribal people of Middle Oregon would gather on winter evenings to hear stories of coyote and other animal people. It was a way to pass on lessons for life. These lessons are still important today. One winter night, Coyote was lying on his back singing a dancing song. As he looked up into the sky, he noticed the stars were twinkling brilliantly, and never had they been so brilliant before. Coyote remembered long ago someone had told him that all stars were beautiful Indian girls. Coyote thought he would like to go up and see the girls, the beautiful girls. So he went through the woods asking, how he could go up to the heavens. He crossed Spider, and Spider said that she would weave a long rope. And the giant redwood tree said he would bend down to earth and throw Coyote up into the sky. So the giant redwood tree bent himself back down to the earth, and Coyote climbed on. And when the giant redwood tree sprung and threw Coyote up into the heavens, and when Coyote got to the heavens, the girls weren't twinkling at all. They were dancing. Coyote was so overcome at the sight of so many beautiful Indian girls, he just stood there and stared and stared and stared. The girls were dressed in white buckskin trimmed with beads, porcupine quills, and shells. When Coyote came to himself, he rushed up to them and said, I would like to join you in your dance. The stars answered, You couldn't dance with us, because we dance day and night, year after year, forever and ever. We never stop. But, but, Coyote said, Surely if, if any girl can do that, I, a big brave, could also dance forever. But the stars said no. Coyote begged and pleaded and teased until the girl said that he might join them. So Coyote joined hands with the stars and danced all over the heavens. He was fine the first night, but the next night, Coyote got tired. He didn't want the girls to know he was tired, so he asked, May I stop to get a drink? I am very, very thirsty. The stars answered, No, we told you to dance on and on, forever and ever. They danced on and Coyote began to get more tired. His back was aching, his legs were aching. So he called out, may I stop and get a bite to eat? I am very, very hungry. The stars said, you must dance on and on and never stop. Before long, the stars were dragging him through the heaven. Soon one arm came off and then the other arm came off. Because Coyote could no longer hold on to the stars, he fell back to the earth. As he fell through space, he passed moon. Coyote called out, someone help me, but not a sound from moon. When he was nearing earth, he saw eagle soaring and he called again, help me uncle, help me uncle, please help me fall on a mossy place. But eagle just whistled and soared away. Now in Klamath region, there is a great hole in the ground that is covered with red dust. The Indians say, this is where Coyote fell and the red is his blood.